Okay, so we're going to construct a congruent segment. So we have our compass. First thing you need to do is I want to make a segment that is this same exact length here. So I want to label this. We're going to go ahead and label this as point A and B for the endpoints. So go ahead and make this your point A. And then we'll label this one over here at the end, point B. Okay. Now we have some terminology. This right here is going to be called the pivot point. Because whenever I construct something, it's going to pivot around that. You see that? So I'm going to take my pivot point from my compass, and I'm going to put it at point A, and I'm going to open up my compass so that it has that length all the way out to point B. Okay, so the length from A to B is going to be called our radius. And the reason why it's called a radius is if I take this and I take my compass, I can circle it around and that'll be the radius of whatever circle I make. So that's why we call that the radius. So we want this distance from A to B that we measured. Now what I want to do is I just want to draw any segment. So using your straight edge, just draw any segment as long as it's longer than AB. And now to finish your construction we are going to just first, let's go ahead and label this point right here. We'll call it something else. We'll say we'll call it C. And I will take my pivot point at C, and then I just draw an angle or a tick mark with my compass like that. Let's move the compass out of the way. And now I'm going to label this point right here where this arc was. I will label this point D. And guess what? AB will be congruent to CD because they have that same exact radius. So that is how you construct a congruent segment. Now let's go ahead and construct a congruent angle. So you want to start off with the same process. We're going to label this vertex right here. And we'll label it. A again. That's my vertex A. And I'm going to take my compass and put the pivot point on A. Choose any radius you want. It doesn't matter what it is. You can make it big, you can make it small, it doesn't really matter. But then you're just going to make an arc with it all the way through so that it crosses both sides of that angle. And then let's go ahead and label this B and C. So this point we're going to label point B, and this point right here we will label point C. So now I want to take and construct any segment again. Just construct a segment down here. In fact, I'm going to move this down just a little bit more. It'll be easier if I have it down here. So using that same exact radius from A to C, the same exact one from A to C, I'm going to put it right there, the pivot point. In fact, I will even label that point. Let's label that point, point D. So we know that we are starting from D, and I'm going to make an arc, make it nice and big like that all the way through. Okay, all the way like that. Because we don't, we don't know where the angle is going to be, but we suspect that it will be like this way. So now, this is the key to this problem. We want to know what the distance is from B to C. This is the key to constructing the, constru co constructing the congruent angle, is getting that distance. So let me highlight this for you so you understand. I am looking for the distance from B to C, right there. This distance, I want to find that same thing right here is what I'm looking to do. Now, in order for me to do that, 
let's get this out of the way right now. In order for me to do that, I need to measure that distance from B to C. So I'm going to take my compass, I'll put the pivot point at C, and I will move it down so that it goes from B to C. I might have to rotate just a bit, move this down, and that's my length from B to C. Don't change it, just pick up your compass, put it down here. We'll label this point E right here. So that's gonna be our point E. And I will put the pivot point at point E. And all I'm going to do is make an arc that cuts through right there. And we will label this point F. Now what I've done is I've created that same length from B to C, F to E. So now I just simply take my straight edge and connect point D through point F and I have just made a congruent angle.